Hello everyone and welcome to Cheesy Code. This is our second lecture in this series and we will learn about how to create Android project. In this we will learn about the files that are generated while creating a new project and what is the use of those files. In our previous lecture we told about how to install Java JDK and Android Studio. So I'm assuming that it is pre-installed in your system. Now to start with we have to open Android Studio. As you can see in my screen there is Android Studio icon. Just double click this icon and welcome wizard of Android Studio will open up. As you can see there are various options available. Just click on the first one to start a new Android project. Now type in application name just as per your preference. This particular text will be visible in Play Store when the app is published. Second one is company domain. If you have a site, a website, you can enter the domain or else you can just give any other text in company domain. The combination of both the name and company domain will create a package. The package name created should be unique because on this basis Google Play Store and Android system differentiate between different apps. The apps can have similar application name but the package name is always different. Next is project location. This is the location where your project would be created. Then click on next. This is for the devices that your app would be targeted to. Just leave all the option unchecked and just click on phone and tablet. Now from this drop down select API level 15 that is ice cream sandwich. Why we have selected API level 15 we will discuss this later. So now click on next. Now select empty activity. Now click on next. Now leave these fields as it is. Click on finish. Now Android Studio will create a project for you. This is a simple hello world project. As you can see the project has been created by Android Studio. The build is also finished for this project. Now let's see what are the files present in this project. This is the same package name that we have mentioned earlier on the first step. This contains Java code. As you can see this is Java code. There is a REST folder. REST is identifier for resources. This folder contains all the resources, static files that we need for our project like images and exable files. Then there is manifest folder which contains android manifest.xml file. This file contains the metadata for the android project. It contains all the information related to android app like its package name, a minimum SDK level, what are the permissions that are required, all these are contained in this file. So basically there are three types of files that are present in android project. These are source file which contains all the java code that you have for your app. Then there are resources files which contains images, xml files or data or sqlite data file. Then comes configuration files which contains the manifest files or any other configuration file that you want to keep. Android Studio has different project views like this one is Android view and another one is project view and this project view we just see the actual file structure that is physically present on our system. We'll see the benefit of this view later. To run your Android app you need Android phone. So there are two ways to do that. One is using your own Android phone which you can simply connect to the system and Android Studio will run the app into that phone. The second option is using an Android virtual device. To create an AVD just click on AVD manager button. Now click on create virtual device. Then select a phone. Now select the Android version. Click next. Here you can change the configuration for your phone. Now click finish. It takes a little bit of time by the time is getting created. Let's talk about minimum SDK level. The API level 15 that we selected earlier. Let's see what's the reason for that. Android has different name for its versions. Like starting from cupcake till marshmallow and so on. Minimum SDK is that minimum level till which our app can run. Like we had selected API level 15. That means our app will only work on API level 15 and further it will not work on those phones which has less than API level 15 installed. For more information you can also read our article on cheesycode.com. Our virtual device has been created. Now to run this device just click on the play button. 
now you can see there is a virtual device present now to install our app on this phone we need to click run button from android studio this will install the app into this virtual device now as we can see this virtual device is similar to our android phone and the android studio has already run this application on the phone you can see the hello world written now press home button now click on the menu icon our just map app is already installed on the phone click on the app icon it runs the app for more information you can refer our articles on cheesycode.com till then subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching